Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today's episode number 15. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are now here for the semi-pro hatchback open. We're going to be taking the Peugeot 206, because why not? Uh, we're starting off with Maple Valley, Camino Valle de Montserrat, uh, Burmese Alps, Hockenheim Ring, and then Iberian International Circuit. Let's get going. We may have to end up using a lot more Monster Cat. Yay. Not ideal. But uh, not the worst either. Holy shit, this 206 is quick with the upgrades. I get why people tune up the cars now. It's not too bad, actually. Not bad. Good start so far. <laughs> to be fair, this monster catch is not too bad either. So, normally I just use it for like the end screens and whatnot. But now I might actually have to like, you know, use the monster cat player. I don't really want to use the Monster Cat player though, just because of the fact the audio quality isn't as high. So I want to transfer a lot of these songs onto like a title playlist. I'll probably do it while I'm at work today. I'll just sit down on my break and find some Monster Cat songs and add them to title. I got a badge. I'm a Peugeot fan, apparently. I'll take it. Alright, here we go. Vroom, 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 vroom. Lots of speed through there. Bidim bidim. Oh, I've gone a bit wide. Oh, 
Nice, looking good. Can't behind. Seven seconds behind already. This Peugeot is an absolute beast. I'm not gonna lie, I quite like the 2005 to 2015 era Peugeots. I think it was quite nice. The new Peugeots that they're making, it's completely different now. I mean, they turned this car into a rally car, so... This exact car got turned into a rally machine. I am the machine. Coming out to the final corner. And that is that race done. This is going to be nice. Nice, quick, cheap, and cheerful. We were also level 31, and we got Hypercar Pioneer. I have a slight feeling the Bugatti might be coming around the corner. No. But we have the choice of the McLaren F1, the EB110, the F50, or the XJ220. Obviously, I'm going to take the F1. Who do you take me for? McLaren F1, obvious choice. And you know what? I'm going to go in that dark purple color, because I think that looks quite beautiful. All right, let's do this. So for anyone wondering, uh, we actually do have some new, uh, what's it called, what's this? Oh, now playing, I want that. Oh, oh, there we go. Um, we have updated merch. By the time you're watching this on video, it will have been updated for about two or three weeks. And we'll probably, at this point, once the video goes live, if you're watching this on, like, a video, an edited thing, um... We'll probably have an exclusive design out. If you're watching this on the stream, uh, we have updated merch. Uh, the exclusive design won't be out yet. But what you can do is if you use code NEWMERCH5, NEWMERCH5, all capitals, uh, you'll actually get 5% off at checkout on the merch store, which is pretty cool. Yo, Kiwi, welcome back. How are you today? Scoot, scoot! Round the corner we go! That's good to hear. Good to hear you're doing alright. As well, for anyone who is uh, subscribed to either the, I believe it's the diamond tier. No, platinum tier. Anyone who's subscribed to the platinum tier, you're going to get a 5% off code for merch every month. Um, they're all ready to automatically go out at the start of the month. And then also for anyone who... Um, 
is subscribe to Diamond Tier, you'll get a 10% off code for merch. So, quite cool. Quite cool. It's a little uh, thank you for being subscribed to those tiers. Do -do -do -do. It's quite a good playlist, actually. I'm quite enjoying it. Ah, uh, the new Prius is working, though. I've got the Prius for every time someone joins the uh, channel now. For the first time. Or the first time since stream avatars has been added. Yeah, Prius. Nice little Toyota Prius. Not bad, I'll take that. That was a good... Good race. 9,250. Woohoo! I've only recently started getting into Reddit, so... Um... I'm only in, like, 12 subreddits. Most of them are, like, tech stuff, so... So yeah, this is a little uh, teaser for episode one, which actually comes out tomorrow. Episode one of Forza Motorsport 4 comes out tomorrow. The final episode of Motorsport 3 is tonight. But uh, this is the outro song for Motorsport 4. G Tower. That's great. I recommend some subreddits. I, most of the subreddits that I find is just stuff that I scroll through. Um, I don't really use Reddit a lot other than for like video games, like Steam News, F1, because I find it a, a much more reliable source for news than Twitter now. After the whole Twitter transformation over the past year or so. Twitter's become extremely unreliable for news. Um, why are my messages coming earlier than yours? What do you mean by that? Do you mean on um, the, what's it called? The bar at the bottom. I think it's because there's a delay or something, but I'm not too sure. message and I wait like a minute then it comes up on yours. Because uh, I believe there's a delay. Oh, it might be because if you've gone on to a different app, it, because YouTube pauses streams, you probably need to come back live again. Uh, there's, there's a button on there when you click on the player that says live. If it's got a grey dot, it's not live. Uh, if it's red, then it's live, and it just means there's a lot of delay. Here we go! It is time for the Peugeot. It is time for the Peugeot. Whoa! Beep beep bitch, 
Get out of the way! Yeah, I probably will just stick with the subreddits that I have at the moment, only because of the fact that I, I use it as just a news platform. I don't use it as, like, a social media. Because it is more accurate. I mean, as soon as news gets announced, a subreddit blows up. So, hence why it's easier to keep track of big news than Twitter, for example. Because Twitter's just so unreliable now. So I use Reddit for news. Um, pretty much everything else just falls suit. Instagram instead of TikTok because I don't like TikTok and it's not funny anymore. So I use Instagram because Instagram actually shows me funny videos. Um, yeah. YouTube is obviously what I'm doing now making my own content I need to get into either posting more Instagrams or uh, TikToks stuff like that I need to also get more YouTube shorts posted I get why uh, big con <sighs> I get why big content creators now have like a social media team so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.